Good evening, and welcome to the next stream of Dyson Sphere Program. Now tonight, over the next uh, hour or so, we're going to be setting up our first lot of solar sails. I'm excited. We've uh, we were working on this last night along with the super magnetic rings, and this is going to give our factory a nice power up uh, because at the moment we're running on when we're running on the wire, we are consuming far more than we're producing here, uh, and we're using things like graphite, graphite, energetic graphite to power a factory. We're not even producing enough for our power plants to really keep up with things. Uh, so it will be a really good power up. Now, I'm hoping that in this episode, I can not only start producing solar sails, but also launching them to, into orbit and, and uh, building up some ray receivers as well so that we can actually put it to use, uh, the power to use and getting it back, back into our planet and powering things up. Now we also made a few other things in the last episode or last streaming, uh, if you want to call it that, in case you missed it. So we also down here uh, started producing our, uh, set up a line to produce our batteries. Uh, so that's what's going on here. We are missing the crystal silicon, which will be brought in here at a later date. Um, and we also set up our ability to charge those with our energy exchanges, which is fantastic once we have uh, enough energy being produced. And of course, we also set up our, um, our EM rail ejectors, basically to shoot our solar sails right into space and start producing that sweet, sweet power. So from here, what we're going to do, we're going to go set up the solar fa cell factories. Now, to produce this stuff, uh, what we need is two ingredients, I believe. We are going to need the photon combiners, and we're going to need graphene. Now, well, the reason why I'm setting it up over here is because we have a gra our graphene line just conveniently placed, which is lovely. And so we're going to yoink it off those pink dumbbells. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a power up. All right. Uh, actually, now this makes me think. It's making me think. Uh, but so you're bringing in these, right? Right. So really, we want you to come out like so. And then maybe another one of them. But as part of this, we're gonna try and power you up with some awesome sauce. And the awesome sauce is, of course, the spray coaters or proliferators. The eternal quest to say that word correctly. So far, I'm. Um, I'm doing it okay. That's one out of one tonight. The uh, the ratio historically has not held that way though. <laughs> and we're gonna want another one over here. Now, unfortunately, with our proliferators, is it looks like we ain't getting enough. We ain't getting enough juice down the system. It ain't flowing through. Yeah. So this is far as it's getting. It's getting down here, and it might be doing something here, yeah, and then it, we're running out. Now, there's a few things that I could do. I could make it run faster, which should, in theory, help a little bit. Um, but ultimately, it's probably not going to solve our real problem, which is just not producing enough proliferation juice. Which is probably not surprising. I haven't really upgraded it. We did a little bit in the last episode. And by a little, I mean just a little. Uh, keep upgrading. 
right in like this. Keep going. Yeah, like that. But yeah, we ain't getting enough of stuff. So we ain't getting enough diamonds specifically. We have a diamond flow production problem. That. Alright, so the reason why we're not getting enough diamonds. Why aren't the diamonds not good enough? Ah, it's this. So if we do that and that, it's going to increase our graphite production. Alright, alright. So that's going to start producing more of those. What's the ratio for diamonds? It is one to one. Every two seconds. These are making things every two seconds, so one to one relation, uh, ratio of these will produce enough diamonds. Now, if we're doing one every two seconds, then that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, really, fourteen, sixteen, uh, divided by two, so that should be eight a second, so not quite a full green belt. Um, so 8 a second is our production, and we need 12 a second. So we're going to need to upgrade things. It's going to need some spiffing up. Uh, we're going to run this along, just make it nice and wide. I think that's going to be too much, but that's all good. And do that. Run down this belt. And we'll see how far we can get away with this, right? Because this isn't running all the time, but I only just re upgraded the belt, so... Alright, so that'll be... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We are going to need for 12 a second... Two more! Perfect! Hey! But... But, it is not going to be enough. Because I know that this line is not going to put in enough cold for it to really, to really get anywhere. I could run this around the thing. And then approach it from the other direction and feed the other half from the other direction. That could be a that could be a thing. We'll consume things a lot faster, of course, but that's okay. Uh, so to do this, we're just going to go up one like that and then back down. So it kind of loops over. And then uh, where do we want to do? We want one, two, three, four. I know we're making meant to making solar sails, and we've just. We have gotten distracted straight away. We'll cut you off there. Get rid of that belt. And then instead, we're going to run it in like this. We were promised solar sails, and all you're giving us is diamonds. And while that may be a technical upgrade, we still feel cheated. Um, so, this is being fed that way. I'm thinking we want to go go like this, right? Give them half and half at least. So there's a fighting chance. There's a fighting chance. Like that. Like a glove. And then we'll take this and run it down. So that we are feeding from the opposite direction. There we are. Bringing in the coal. Do I have any stored coal as a result? Yep. That's nice. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now we need to do the same thing with our diamonds. Not quite the same, because we don't need to 
run it from both sides, but we do need to upgrade the line. So we'll do this, run it down, see it's, it's already filling up, good things are happening, then go one, two, three, oh, can we reduce the intervals? Use a minus key, no, minus key is ineffective, so I need to run it slightly more, just one thing. And now we should be good. Yeah. Uh, so close. It's so far. And we're gonna need power. I almost used all my Tesla towers too. Z power poles. And that should increase our diamond. Uh, production to be 12 a second so a full belt which means when we're making 12 of these simultaneously we should be able to keep up with production now with production demands hurrah and that's going to improve our proliferation we won't get a full belt out coming out this way at the current speed but it's going to make life better for us and we can already tell at the moment that all of these guys are now working we're starting to back up with the diamonds even uh, which is not kind of what I was expecting so why is that the case uh, so these guys are making two a second each and we've got a heap of them yeah so we want to do the same sort of fancy thing that we did before and by fancy I mean simple and just kind of split it off All right so we'll go like this run it down run it back down or run it up then run it back down I should say and we'll dump the excess in here and I also feel like I should dump the Heap that I've got in my inventory onto the line as well. Thank you very much for the extra research. Yeah! Look at it all go. Fantastic. Now, not all of them are running, but that's fine. Because all these are running constantly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we got seven. And then we, oh yeah, we got seven as well. All right, so that's fourteen. So technically, my diamonds should be insufficient here. But we can see I'm backed up. It might just be because uh, these guys are just playing catch up at the moment. But I also think that means, yeah, these are never going to run, and therefore, eventually, yeah, our middle ones are never going to run as a result. That's okay. We can deal with that. We will stifle our disappointment and move on with our lives. Now, uh, we're also seeing some excellent stuff happening here, and the main main thing holding things up is a lack of yellow science I believe at the moment now, lack of yellow science is is what they're running flat out right uh, can we oh we can make you taller we go, run a little bit faster guys. Okay, we stop getting distracted. Um, oh, see, see this, is, this is so easy to get distracted. It's so easy. <laughs> like these titanium crystals are not gonna keep up now.
Anyway, anyway, leave it, leave it. Don't get dist too distracted. Come on, books, come on. All right, so we have run up a proliferation line up along here, and we want to run it back down again. I'm running out of belts too. Oh dear, oh dear, it's going to be one of those distracty streams. But we don't have time to be distracted. We need to be focused. Uh, so we'll run it back down. Like so. And then it can be ready to start looping around into something else. 400 bells. That should be enough to get us going here. Alright, so both of these will be prolif proliferated. These guys will be, and these guys will be. Which means we get maximum output of our solar sails for all the resources we're going to put in. And that's particularly important for solar sails, because you do use them pretty much constantly, and they expire in their orbit as well. So they will get used up. Oh, that's not as far. I didn't want to go that far. Uh, actually, we'll, while we're here, pick up some belts. There was something else I wanted. Uh, assemblers. Assembling factories. Oh, maybe pick up one of the... Uh, yeah, really didn't need that, but oh well. We got it now. No backsies. Grab one of them. Grab some power poles as well. Where's that power poles? Power poles? Nope, nope. Your power making. Your power poles. There we are. Cool, cool. There's a very constant supply. I'm wondering... Yeah, because we're using it all. We're using all those pr prisms. Pretty much as soon as it comes in. Can we make sure that... Yeah, your minimum load is 100%. When you're going to fly, you're going to take the full load and stop wasting so much power. That's going to help out with our power drain. Yeah, because we were just making things fly without... You know, them being full. No wonder we had so many little speedy Gonzaleses going back and forth there. Alright. I say speedy because they're not. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And we want to go down here. Okay. So. What do these need? Every four seconds it's going to produce two. And it's going to need one of each every four seconds. I can't remember how much I'm producing. So, that's a problem with input or supply. I do know, however, that eventually we're probably going to have more graphene being built. Or, well, I say probably. We are definitely going to have more graphene being built because it's one of the key components for a number of things. But we might be building it in an alternate recipe uh, using the fiery dry ice sort of stuff. Or something else. Who knows? But from that perspective, we're going to want lots more input. And we're always going to use these. So let's focus on our output belt for the time being. Okay. So that means. Where are you there? Every two seconds, we're going to get one. So each factory is 0.5 a second. So that leads me to a full green belt of 12 of those guys. Now let's just think that through. So two seconds we make one, every one second we make half. Then we need 12 a second for those lines, yeah I'm pretty sure. So 24 assemblings or assemblers to start us off with. Now produce that, we only need one so I'll, yeah. Our inputs are going to be fine on the current belt system. And then our output max is going to be 24. 
assemblers. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I wanted twelve. Could do it in groups of ten, but this game works in, you know, twelves and twenty fours and stuff like that. Groups of sixes. Um which kinda makes me think, can we just kinda can we cheese it? <laughs> Do something like this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, not really. Well, we could do groups of sixes, I suppose. That's that's less exciting. Um, where's the earliest point we can split realistically here, right? So we could just kind of cut that off like that and just do that and then put our first splitter here. And oh, no, 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 no. Okay. And then we'll work off the basis that this is going to come down now. Is this? I can always split off the side here, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna go groups of nine. Nines it is. And we're gonna say output line down the bottom. I don't know where I'm going to run my output yet. And then input lines up the top. Like so. Now with this guy, we are going to need to start splitting that as well. The way we're going to do it is with... Oh, frustrating. Like that. And up and then down. Yep, so we still have clearance. That's good. And then like that. Now, will that work? Probably not. Because we still need the output. Damn it. And this as will you again. Hey. Making my logistics more efficient. We do. Rotate like so. And then can I make you go up like that and then get something under you? No, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. Yeah! We did it! We did it. So, what have we done? <laughs> what exactly did we do? I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah, I think that'll work. Let's try it and find out. So, we're going to do like a splitty thing. Rotate like that. So the output will be the over. Then we'll put the input will be the under. Uh, so we'll do this and then up. And down like that. Now, let's still think this through. That means on each split, the placement of this might be bad. 
still want an output down the bottom here, no. Yeah, we still need an output down the bottom. So the next time that we want to run a line... Uh, is going to be like this. Let's let's deal with the input placement sort of considerations later. Minor details, minor details. All right, so go away, go away. I refuse to deal with your reality, which might be unfortunate, and I might have to deal with your reality, but for the time being, I'm just going to say piss off. Okay, so you're going to need to be an input and then you are going to be an output and then this is going to be an input as is this and then we'll have another output what's that get up to four so that's 18 so that would give us 27 which is more than a full green belt. But of course we're going to build more as we go along. So I'm almost tempted just to just over-engineer this. I say almost tempted, I am tempted. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Let's keep over-engineering things. So we're going to say we're going to expand it out again do this god knows where we're going to put power that's that's another consideration for later <laughs> actually we should really work that out now can we yeah we can fit them in between so power is not going to be an issue all right and then another row oh oh see now our spacing is changed oh no maybe it's not changing Uh, it's starting to change a little bit, not significantly though. Uh, so that's all good. Or maybe it's just, yeah, it's because we've the belts too far. Um, okay. So, 9, 18, 27, 35. 35? No, 36. Let's leave it at that. We're, I'm fully expecting to go further up this way. But I'm also expecting to take this, disassemble this, this part at some point. Because I'll probably hook up the graphene to something else. Something a bit more productive than power. Or more useful than power for this sort of situation. Okay. But... That means... I think I'm just really doing something silly here. I, I just want to run it down through here. Now if I do that, then I can get a bit of a run up here as well. Alright, so that means that means we can do something along the lines of this. So you're going to be line it up kind of perfectly and you're going to do weird dog angles oh yeah I've done you wrong uh, so you and then rotate like that uh, I've also got you wrong So, like so, I'm eventually going to want you like that, so, um, that, alright, so that means if I do this, and this, and we do this, and then this, means I can put an output like that 
output straight on, output like that, output straight on, output like that. I can continue up as need be, which then means that we want to run our guys out like Oh, we could do it just down here and it'd just be beautiful. Wouldn't need to do anything crazy with a proliferation line. It runs straight through the whole thing. Ha! Huh. It's all coming together. Like a well-oiled plan if I had one. Powered up, yep, cool. Yay, we're moving. All right, output like that. And then you're gonna want two inputs like so. Is it the recipe? Yeah, I haven't done that. Photon combiners, please. Oh, no, not photon combiners. You're not making that. Solar sails. That's the whole point of this one. Oh, I have also haven't updated my stream title. Oops. So it's not super magnetic rings. Sorry, people. Solar sails. Woo. There we are. That's updated. Sorry for everyone watching who have been getting confused. My bad. To be fair, at the start I did say it's about solar power sales, but anyone who's joined since then is going, what is this guy doing? We were promised super magnetic rings and all we're getting is these lousy solar sails. Yeah. Huh. Had to run another series up here. Oops. All good. Uh, we've confirmed the pattern works. Oh no, we're running out of power. Fortunately, I know a guy. Me. Does make me think that I should really be investing in uh, hydrogen fuel cells, maybe. Uh, I don't want to. I want to just go for the jump straight up to deuterium. But I think maybe the uh, the algorithm has maybe changed or how, how useful these things are, uh, as in graphite is, to keep me powered since I last played. Been a bit nerfed. Oh, maybe I just forgot how annoying it is uh, running out of power all the time. Yeah, that's done everything. Everything's powered. Cool. We have solar sails. We. So we have two things remaining to do here. Um, we've got half an hour to do it. Um, the first one is to start shooting them into space. And we want a good location for that. Yeah, look at this. It's starting to look more like a factory planet. I approve. Um, 
In this little bit of area here up here, I haven't used it for anything. It's close by. Might be constant shooting, but I don't need constant shooting at the moment. I just need to get it started so that I can get power from it. I think we're going to run things like this. Just combine everything together. What was I thinking here? Man, I keep right clicking. And I shouldn't. There we go. Right, this has already stopped because it's already produced so much of them. Uh, but. Let's wander over and pick up some guns. I think 90 is going to do us well and truly for the time being. The other thing that we don't have is ray receivers to actually give us any kind of power from this. So we'll be consuming power shooting into space, but we won't be actually getting anything out from it. Uh, which will be unfortunate. So we want to amend that to... Uh, by kind of... Taking it all these. Uh, what else? And cooking them up in our internal factory here. I won't be able to produce many. In fact, at the moment, I can only make two before I run out of steel. Um, I think I can just yoink some off the line. I will be setting this up properly in my mall, but I don't think I'll have time to also do that part of it today because I need to ship over ship in silicon, which I'm not doing at the moment. So that's why I'm just making a few off the cuff, as it were. And that's all I can do for for the time being, but that should hopefully start giving us some power back from this whole arrangement. Um, the other thing is, because I'm going to be filling some ocean again, is I might want to top up on these guys. Yep. Alright. We're going off to the north here. And I think this area here will become our shooting range. Now, uh, from memory, I need to space these apart somewhat as well. Yeah. So there is minimum spacing involved, and then we want to run things down so that it can be fed into them. Uh, so we've got to think this through. I don't enjoy that. I try to do as little thinking as possible. I'm not lazy, I'm just highly efficient. Uh, but we'll fill in this chunk of the sea. Uh, we'll save some because I need my soil pile for later on. What I'm thinking, I'll run the solar cell line up here and then start splitting it off into our guns. Our solar guns. Solar guns, I like that. Now let's call them solar guns. Uh, now, I think it will be in power, maybe, or transportation. Dice of Sea program, yeah, alright. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so we'll run these out along this way. Yep. And then we should have a minimum distance to go down. Oh, we've got to power it too. Now what I want to make sure, yeah, too close, but can we just, ah ha ha ha, ah ha ha, that's a nice setup here. Like 
like that. Do like that. And like this. I don't know, I feel like this is a fairly good start. probably start splitting out the other side. We do have an oil seep on both sides that we don't want to mess with. So we can always shoot from different parts of the planet is the other option as well. Uh, I wanted to continue to make this into more of a factory, didn't I? But I'm going to have to cut it off. It's alright, there's coal veins. Uh, so there's going to be a, a hard ceiling on that anyway. Alright, so we will want the splitters to start splitting out the solar cells between each row. mistake. I wonder if there was a reverse button. Yeah, I ran those the wrong way. Gotta pay attention to the order. I'm really glad I picked up those belts. I didn't think I'd need that many, but apparently I'm do doing some serious upgrading or something. Or some serious belt usage. Okay. Run that up like so. And yeah, we're going to run out of items, so let's fly off and find some. Oh god, I'm going to run out of power in midair. No! Please, no! Too young to run out of power. Oop. Oh. Yep, I did it. Uh, these drones catch up, that'll help. Casimir crystals. A very expensive thing to produce. They are a nightmare. It's so much hydrogen. Okay, so while those drones slowly find the power to get anywhere, uh, we will need to set up power for these, actually. So, ah, oh, no, I've done bad placement now. Can I, can I correct that? Ah, oh, no. No. That's not what we wanted. Here I was laughing about how perfect that was that we can just fit them in the middle and now I can't do it. So, uh, let's quickly get rid of our plans here. Because we're going to need to rethink this. Damn it! Oh, down here too. Alright, we know that top two rows are good, so let's keep those for the time being. What else is that? Ah, oh, they're doing those, that's alright. You can do those, and we'll start running it up and producing more. Alright, so we kind of need the same sort of system, right? Where we have these. 
as much as possible in sort of the perfect location. And it's gotta be, gotta be perfect. All right, so if we do that and just set these up first, then it should, yep. Now if I increase my interval, yeah, there we go. We can set the same sort of pattern up. We'll have less ejectors, but less problems. Trying to power them all. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Oh, did I miss one? There we go. All right. Um. Let's run. Oh, so you were right. Which was should have just let you get going. Uh, that will offend my sense of neatness and probably everyone else's as well, but I've had enough setbacks today already, folks. I can't take another one. I just can't. Um, cool. All right. So we can set these to be a particular orbit. These are defaulting to one. There we are, and I'll start tracking that orbit. So instead, we're going to do U, and then if I go copied, they are all tracking now. And the other night in, in chat, how we were saying that, you know, when you get they were to introduce some hostile aliens or something, then these look like an awful lot like guns. Uh, I think we can all see that now, right? I wouldn't want that pointed at me. And given that it can shoot stuff into, you know, the orbit of the sun, it's got to pack a punch, right? Now, the final thing that we want to do is hook up, up with sorters, because we need inputs like so. So we'll just use this as a template and uh, we need to change our intervals again. Maybe. There we go. Alright, you'll be the same. When you get stuff, please tell me you were copying out that pattern. Yeah, you were. Good. Come on. Come on, guys. I know you're low on power, but you can do it. Do the same down this way. My drones are not enjoying this experience. Do I have a local Tesla power thingy? Charger thing? When you go? Nope. We're stuck in the slow lane. Come on, just finish finish one row. Our factories can get to work then. There we go. Got stuff happening now. That'll make me happy for now. For now, I expect better in the future. That's part of the reason why I'm thinking that hydrogen power would be... Oh, power QB things would be good. On the one hand, I do still feel like it might be a waste of the... Titanium to do it, but uh, on the other, it will mean that we just get faster progress as well, which would be nice. Oh, these ones aren't going to get power? Okay, well, well, okay. Hey, 
Let's have put a power wall there, please. Now it's tracking, they should be loaded. And I think now what we need to do is go into Dyson Sphere mode. So where we have this first orbit. Enabled. Okay, that would make sense. I think we're good. So these should start firing soon. Uh, maybe their angle is too great. Yes, yeah, so we're at the pitch limit. It's going to fire 20 a minute into space. 20 a minute. Now we've got to think that through, right? Oh, here we go. We're starting to fire. Pew, pew. Yeah. It's exactly what we want to see. Hey. Ah. Oh. You're not firing, so we might as well... There we go. There you go, buddy. Fire away. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, so as the sun comes into the right sort of zone here, these guys are just going to start spitting them out. Which is great. And if we go into Dyson Sphere mode, it'll start telling us that it started to try and produce some power now. We can see these things coming from thin air and ending up around our sun. Now what will happen eventually, uh, once we get a viewpoint, I can't really tilt the camera at the moment to show it. Uh, we'll need to go to it from a different perspective. Oh, that's pretty. Um, yeah, we'll start seeing that from orbit here as well. Um, so we'll be able to see the Dyson's form kind of surrounding our sun. Uh, which is nice. You start getting this visual indication of how how your uh, Dyson Sphere is coming along, and I absolutely love it. I love some of the the graphics that they put in this. You know, they're not hugely complicated. I mean, it's very blocky, etc. But it's beautiful, and that's really what you want out of this. Because you're making something majestic. Anyway, 20 a minute when they're firing. Like a diamond in the sky, there we go. Okay, so what we want is this power to be being utilized. So at the moment in the Dyson Sphere, uh, we've got 15 minutes left, excellent. Uh, so this power is going nowhere. We're generating it, or our sphere is, but ain't nothing happening here. We've got zero requested power, but 27 and counting megawatts worth of power. So we want it to be starting to come in. So we're going to go into build mode. Oh, that'll work. And we're going to fill out this space here as much as we can with the iron veins being in the way, right? And the reason we're going to fill out this space with some land film is because it being the polar, it's got uh, the most constant exposure to the sun that we can possibly get. And those ray receivers really want to... Yeah, thanks. I knew. You should be able to clearly see it right now. Man, I'm 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 explaining this to my viewers already. Can you can you stop? Alright. Every solar sail launched for a certain life cycle. Can I can I dismiss you? Is there a way to get rid of help? Let's let's turn off help gameplay. Um Advisor tips, maybe that. We'll keep talking now, but... Okay, so basically we want to put these in the middle. Now you can see that they can also have inputs. That'll be important later on in the production of antimatter, etc. 
but for the time being we just want to put these where they're going to get as much continuous exposure to the sun as possible. I would love to run this belt slightly differently because I think I can sneak it in there. So we'll just put this down and then run the belt kind of... Oh, lack of item, actually. Never mind. I'm still going to run it differently and run it down like that just to maximize the sort of space I get at my poles. Alright, so now that we have ray receivers happening, that's already connected to the power grid, which is great, and these guys will start requesting energy from the Dyson Sphere. And that's going to produce power for us. Now there will be a, a power generation bonus the longer it continuously receives power from the Dyson Sphere. So they're going to slowly power up. But of course that ain't going to work if it ain't exposed to the sun. So, or is not. So really, because of the tilt of the planet, eventually it's going to have some times when this pole is going to be... Uh, in the shade So it is going to last a while because it should go for a certain amount of orbit time and so on and so forth But we're also going to want to put these things down at the other pole as well Is the plan here But much like uh, Antarctica here on earth has like these really really long summers and then really really long winters where it's complete darkness or in summer it's you know sunny all the time um, then we're going to have a similar situation here. But yeah, its orbit around this is going to do funny things as well. So I'm not entirely certain about our orbital periods. Well, that's going to do. That'll be... Uh, that will be annoyingly interesting. I mean, it's nice detail because that genuinely happens or genuinely happens in orbital mechanics, but it's also somewhat annoying that I won't have this, so it's always getting power. I'm going to need to set up two polar stations, so to speak. Alright, so it's requesting all the power we have available at the moment. So let's go to Dyson. Alright, so we're generating 66, we're requesting 59, we've stopped generating more swarm, just with our current, life, oh that's nice, that's new as well, a life distribution, so it should tell us when things are going to start dying. This, this little thing will worm its way to zero. Okay, cool. But yeah, this is going to continually bring in more and more power. And now we're at 100% satisfaction. So this guy alone is putting out nearly 8 megawatts and it's only at 20% it's requesting 15 so it's drawing a little bit over 15 I think there's our efficiency right so it's at 50% efficiency now Got to remember the math around this, or how these work, more to the point, not really the math. I think that's what it's producing at the moment, it can produce 8 megawatts each of these, which is pretty good because between them that's what, 24 megawatts uh, at the moment, which is a decent amount, right? So my current uh, energy consumption for the planet is 216 is our kind of capacity at the moment in our demand so it's producing what less than a quarter but uh, 
a, a significant chunk is just coming out of these four buildings now and it's only increasing so that's great that is a good thing until it goes into shadows and then it'll start getting less power because you know no direct line of sight you can't beam the power to to the uh, the thing these also look like very futuristic eyes of Sauron I have to say you know welcome to Mordor people if Mordor was high tech and run by a robot I'm not sure where I'm going with that one so I'm just gonna just gonna leave it all right we want to get rid of this stuff though this iron is dead to us delete um, because no point having it in our inventory Uh, no, no, I can't get my orbits right. Uh, I want power. Cause I'm running out of stored stuff in my power vaults. Yeah, these guys are. These guys are taking it easy now. They're like, thank you very much. We got it at easy street now. Uh, all these are offline. They're waiting for the sun to come up. So it should be tracking the sun at the moment. Or tracking the orbital path in which to insert the solar sails. Into orbit. I'm just gonna edit, edit. Orbit one. Can I actually edit that or anything? I think I can change it while it's still got sails maybe. That's pretty with the extra moon here. Now, I'm kind of interested, last time I played this, these guys shot through a planet to get to the sun. <laughs> and I'm wondering if they now have planetary body occlusion happening. So we're gonna stick around and find that out because we're only just three degrees off being able to shoot through a planet. <laughs> Two, one, and firing. Firing? Oh, maybe they have done it. I don't know what the minimum angle is. Maybe they've done it. Oh, wait. The tide getting reticules up. Half blocked. Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's that's kind of good, but also frustrating because I'm producing all these sails, and I'm gonna always have this moon coming up, well, gas giant coming up, and blocking my firing firing zones. It's not going to be until we clear this uh, gas giant that it will start firing again. Well, that's... I mean, that's an improvement to the game. I did think it was a bit of a bug that you're allowed to shoot through a planet. It seemed, you know, uh, a bit unreasonable. I was just hoping that we don't get out of um, angle by the time we clear the gas giant it is making the gas giant just kind of glow <laughs> so we can't actually see the gas giant here uh, that's that's where the Sun is but the uh... oh there we go there we go 
Oh no, maybe the sun's up higher. Ah, oh, it's up here. We just got a glowy gas giant. Should be functioning as an eclipse, really. But we're shooting more into orbit. So the more solar sails we have active in orbit, of course, the more power income we're going to have. And so we're going to add this new fresh funky wave here into orbit. And currently we're basically requesting all the possible, all the power we can. time okay that's nice look at them all go it is silent though I kind of wish there was some kind of like pew pew sound effect these guys are all silent I don't believe that would be the case Myself. You're gonna shoot through me. You're gonna shoot through through me. There we are. There we are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that shot me. <laughs> Bam. All right. So uh, we are at the end of our time for tonight. Unfortunately, folks. We have set up solar sails and some solar sail power though, which I'm pretty happy about. In fact, I'm very happy about this to finally get some some reasonably renewable power uh, that's not wind or straight solar. I mean, fortunately we do have this power coming in here. These guys are now doing 11 megawatts each, which is fantastic starting to show the load on our power uh, especially given that we're we're drawing a fair bit at the moment so what's next what is next indeed the next things that we'll be doing is we want to set up a kind of a mall space for our Dyson sphere cl power collector thingies that are called ray receivers um, and we also want to get our accumulator production happening, so we'll need to go to our electronics fact factory to grab the special type of silicon for that and bring it over and start importing that, as well as importing, I think, regular silicon for the ray receivers. Uh, so we'll, we'll be setting those up. We'll also be starting to set up our fractionator in our moles as well, because we're going to want to start producing deuterium uh, relatively soon uh, so that will be a thing as well uh, we want to also be producing our mini fusion power plants at some point once we've got deuterium production up and running so that will be a thing we'll want to be charging our batteries and feeding it into the production of our orbital collectors because our orbital collectors are going to be Taken, uh, taken hydrogen and deuterium as well from this gas giant here to produce said deuterium. Uh, so that will be a thing. So we've got a plenty of things to be working on next. And deuterium fuel rods, what do they take as well, just while we're at it? Yep, yeah, so lots of stuff. 
In particular, it's going to need our super magnetic rings. So for that, we're going to need more electromagnetic turbines. So I'm thinking the order of play here is going to be as follows. We are going to start uh, production of our accumulators as well as therefore our orbital collectors by collecting some energy exchanges. Um, we'll do that by setting up our silicon production and, and export functions. Once we've that, got that underway, we're going to head over to our forge world and start mining up some more stuff. In particular, we're going to start making some more electromagnetic magnetic turbines, so more green motors here, and exporting them from our forge world and importing them into our main planet here so that we have a much more reliable supply of it rather than just the smaller one. Uh, down the uh, down here so we've got a fairly small factory just producing those and it can't keep up and part of the reason why it can't keep up is because it just doesn't have enough iron coming into this whole thing uh, but the other part of it is because these need to be the top tier belts for it to really function or I need to set up stackers um, either way I'm not gonna have enough iron so we're gonna use our forge world for that because it has lots more iron than our starting base you know this is 2 million remaining this has got 20 so huge difference and we want to be starting to get that those green motors in and that will mean as a result that we get much more consistent production of super magnetic rings as well as all the other things that we need green motors once we that have that consistent uh, production we can set up our deuterium production which will mean deuterium fuel rods. That will also mean that we'll set up our mini power plants for that. For mini power plants, of course, we are going to need to set up carbon nanotubes, which means we need to produce more graphene in order to produce that carbon nanotube. And I think you're all getting the point here. Many, many things to go, which is why I'm still internally debating, hey, do we just want to grab some hydrogen fuel rods? and use up a little bit of uh, titanium ignits, uh, ignits? ingots um, to produce those and just have a bit more consistent power here. It'd be nice, right? So we don't always run out of graphite. Those are all the things going through my head at the moment. But baby steps, next, next episode, we're gonna go set up some crystal silicon production some high purity silicon exports and if we get time we'll make sure that we're producing those accumulators charging them up and making those orbital collectors if after that we get time i think i will bite the bullet and produce hydrogen fuel rods that is the plan in the near term and then we'll see how we go now, I will be just doing shorter streams as well for the time being or for the next couple of weeks, just so everyone knows. Uh, the reason for that is because I'm going to be busy pretty much all weekend this weekend. So I won't have time for a longer, you know, three to four hour stream. Uh, so and it's going to be a little bit more bite size. I'm going to keep on trying to do this during the weekday as well. So everyone's well and truly entertained. But that's the plan uh, but for now it, we're out of time and it's late so uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream tonight folks um, I look forward to seeing you all again uh, in the future so if you did enjoy the stream drop me a follow so you know when I'm I'm streaming out it's usually weekdays it in the evening around 8 30 to 9 o'clock Australian Eastern Standard Time or daylight savings time actually because we are on daylight savings um, and then of course on the weekends when whenever I, I've got free time if you're on YouTube of course watching this later I do export my streams from Twitch to YouTube then you can drop me a like or a subscribe there uh, if you feel up to it otherwise thank you again everyone I've enjoyed the stream and I will see you in the next one. See ya.